here with Dee Iacobelli. Hey, congratulations, top 15. How Thanks. good does it feel just to get that card? It hasn't really kicked in yet, I don't feel like. And it's the first time it's been top 15, so I guess your brain's kind of like, well, I didn't, I didn't really do it, but thanks, I did do it. <laughs> I know it's been a journey for you this season. Got that win at Hartford Healthcare, which is awesome for you. But just can you put into words what the journey's meant to you this season? It's, it's been a lot deeper than I think people know. Um, it's been some family health issues that have been going on the last few weeks that have kind of been clogging up my brain. And um, I don't know, it's just been a wild ride. I'd like to think that maybe we're at the halfway point maybe we're making the turn. I think we still got some golf left. I think we still have a back nine left. Um, but I think the, the biggest thing I can say is I'm just thankful. Um, thankful for the opportunities, thankful for the support, thankful for recognition, um, and thankful for perseverance. Well, and to hear you're gonna be out in the LPGA next year, play some starts in the LPGA, what does that mean to you after not being out there for a few seasons? It's actually kind of scary because the people I know that are gonna to go to some of these events, it might turn into a happy Gilmore event. I mean, it might be a little wild. My friends have been waiting for their opportunity to shine more than I have. So um, I'm looking forward to that. Whatever that first one is, I'm looking forward to it. And for you, um, I just want to talk a little bit about Hartford. I know that win was so big for you and your confidence and, and where you belong out here. I know you know you, where you belong out here, but for you, what did that win specifically, what did that Hartford win do for you as you looked ahead to the rest of the year? It was wild. I mean, people were telling me that that week I probably secured my card. And I was like, there's half the season left. Like, you guys are just wild. And then lo and behold, you know, I didn't really do much after that. Kind of hit a lull towards the back end of the season. And yet I'm able to be here and still talk to you. So a um, lot to work on this off season, but I'm, like I said, I'm just very thankful for the opportunity. I know it's hot out here, last one for me. Uh, what's motivating you um, or what continues to motivate you as, as you progress in your career? I think that a lot of people tend to put a timeline on women's golfers. Um, the men, the men tend to play into their 40s, 50s, 60s, what have you, and a lot of the women stop, uh, you know, around 30 or in their 30s. There's very few that keep it going, and I just want to kind of be a voice that age is a number, and the golf course doesn't care how old you are, doesn't care what you do, and. Um, I guess I just want to make sure that the game keeps growing, so hopefully my golf game can keep up with all of my bright ideas. I guess actually the last one for me, how proud are you of yourself just to have battled through this year to get through some of those off the course of, you know, things that you've had going on to get to this point and be able to celebrate here at the card ceremony? It's pretty wild. I'm, I mean, I'm really sad that this is the last event. Anyone who knows me knows that I just want to play 48 weeks out of the year and I never want it to end. So this moment's a little bittersweet. I wish we had five or 10 more coming up. You know, even if that would push me outside the top 15, I still wish we had more events. Um, I also wish I could go back to a few and get a couple mulligans, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of being where I am without maybe a technical golf coach or a mental coach or not being the most fit person on the planet, you know, just kind of being an average Joe that just loves the game so much and wants to see it continue to grow how it has been. And I, I think I tend to do things for 10-year-old me, and I think 10-year-old me would be pretty psyched right now.